Kia ora koutou, hello and welcome um, to this week's weekly video. We come to you from lockdown uh, on Zoom. I'm Will Chandler, I'm the Head Prefect and I'm joined by all four of the Deputy Head Prefects. We've got, as I'm looking at them on my screen, we've got Jacob Waikari-Jones, Archie Taylor, John Adamson and Ethan Stowers. Um, and we're recording this just after we've got the news from uh, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern that we're going to be in lockdown um, for another few days um, until 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday night in level four. Um, and so we thought this would be an awesome opportunity to hop on and talk about what lockdown's been like for us so far and, um, and preview a little bit about what lockdown might look like um, for Wellington College students uh, if we do find ourselves here for an extended period of time. So first things first, um, how's lockdown been for you guys so far? Uh, yeah, it's been all right. There's nothing much to do, um, but yeah, it hasn't been too bad. Staying busy? Yeah, somewhat busy. Just doing all I can do while at home. Just relaxing yes. so far or being real busy? Uh, been quite relaxing. Just getting a bit of schoolwork out the way, but yeah. What about you, Archie? Oh, it's been good, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been stuck at home with the family, including my younger brother, Mac. Um, so, good times there. Um, no, but we've been, been doing a lot, watching a lot of movies and uh, playing some board games. Uh, we've been out uh, on some night walks up to the Botanical Gardens, so it's been a good time. Nice. Yeah. Has there been many people out and about when you've gone up there? Uh, not at night, nah. There's been, you probably bump into a one person on your way. Um, but yeah, pretty busy throughout the day though, down here, yeah. Right. I guess also with us being in lockdown, this is the first time um, that we've been doing online learning since be since the March lockdown last year. So Judd and Ethan, how's the uh, online learning been like over these last two days? Uh, I feel like it's gone pretty well so far. Um, teachers have gotten in touch. I've gone to a couple of Zoom classes with the teachers checking in on us and looking after us. Um, looking through the emails, there's plenty of stuff to sign, so plenty to keep busy on over the, these quiet few days. Um, and I feel like people just settled into it way more quickly if the practice of the last lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so true. I feel like that's definitely the case for me. Mm. What about you, Ethan? Uh, just trying to set up a routine that I can um, carry on throughout the remainder of this lockdown for however, however long it is i'm just trying to wake up at a reasonable time and do a reasonable yeah. amount of schoolwork while still looking after my well-being hanging out with family and going for runs and whatnot 100 percent. i guess um looking after our own well-being and making sure that we're staying well um throughout lockdown is really important because it's way harder to do that when we're locked down um than in our day-to-day -day lives so i guess jacob what have you been doing um to help you stay well uh, in these first couple of days of lockdown? Um, so every day I try to go out, do a little bit of exercise, whether that be run, doing weights or something like that. Um, and just staying around family, not locking myself completely uh, in my room and all that, and just kind of keeping social as much as I can. What about you, Judd? Uh, we, I've sort of, we've sort of been doing a lot as a family because uh, we're pretty busy. So it's quite, quite pleasant to have not everyone sort of racing around in and out. So we've been coming together for meals, um, just stuff like that between everyone's work and bits and pieces. And the other thing I've been doing, look after myself, but just keeping in touch with friends, FaceTiming, messaging, just sort of passing time a little bit, but staying connected. Hundred percent. And I guess staying connected with people is really important, especially when it comes to that schoolwork side of it. Because we don't see yeah, our day. Um, we, we don't see our deans. Um, we're not actually physically on the school campus. So Ethan, how can we stay in the loop and stay connected to our teachers and important staff at school when we're in lockdown? Um, just make sure you check the Instagram. A lot of notices on there from one of our prefix, Judge Jackson. Uh, check your emails. Um, teachers might have emailed you or classroom, if not on your email. And then one more after that is this. You still can't find what you need after that uh, to message one of your deans or your actual teacher themselves, and then they should be able to help you. 100%. Lastly, Archie, any advice for boys um, um, for this lockdown period? For how, how, for yeah. how long we're in it? 
Yeah, I reckon there's three things. Number one, make a routine. Uh, stay in contact with your teachers and others around you. That includes your friends and family. Um, and make sure you look after yourself. That's probably number one, I reckon. Yeah, good advice, Archie. Uh, lastly, I guess from me, um, take it easy on yourself. Remember that that it's not easy um, and, and, and really count the small wins and the small victories. Look after yourself, look after your family and remember that even when we're in lockdown and we're not turning up to, to 15 Dufferin Street every day, that we're still Team Dub C. Um, so stay well during lockdown, go hard um, and kia kaha. See you all next week.